A pleasant and wonderful day to everyone. Today, our hearts are full of hope, excitement, and gratitude as we take another milestone in this challenging academic year ahead of us. Today, let us be in one accord virtually as we welcome you to the opening program of Central Luzon State University Academic Year 2020-2021. The opening ceremonies may not be the same as the physical one, but we do hope our efforts will make this moment really special for you. We truly hope that you feel the love from the CLSU Academy just the same. This is the Central Luzon State University opening program.
Getting to know each other is a beginning of your CLSU journey. Let us welcome Mr. J.P. S. de Guzman, the CLSU University and Board Secretary for the introduction of university officials. A pleasant day to all, especially to our students who are watching this virtual opening program for the academic year 2020-2021. At CLSU, we have a total of 1,207 personnel composed of faculty members and non-academic staff who are always ready and constantly committed to give you quality and relevant education you need and deserve. Allow me with much honor and privilege to introduce to you our university officials under the Academic Affairs Program. Dr. Jennifer T. De Jesus, Director of the Institute of Sports, Physical Education and Recreation. Doctor of Philosophy in Physical Education and Sports from Universitas Negeri Jakarta in Indonesia. Dr. Nemesio A. Makabali Jr., Director of the Information Systems Institute, PhD in Electrical and Electronics Engineering from UP Diliman. Dr. Teodi B. Saiko, Dean of the Office of Admissions, PhD in Agricultural Engineering from CLSU. Dr. Irene G. Bustos, Dean of the Office of Student Affairs, PhD Education from UP Diliman. Dr. Esmeraldo M. Cabana, Dean of the CLSU Distance Open and Transnational University, PhD in Aquaculture from CLSU. Dr. Matilde Melisent S. Recto, Dean of the College of Business Administration and Accountancy, PhD in Development Studies from De La Salle University. Dr. Virginia M. Venturina, Dean of the College of Veterinary Science and Medicine, Ph.D. in Veterinary Science from the University of Edinburgh in the United Kingdom. Dr. Judith P. Antonino, Dean of the College of Home Science and Industry, PhD in Home Economics from UP Diliman. Dr. Ravelina R. Velasco, Dean of the College of Fisheries, PhD in Aquaculture from CLSU. Dr. Victorino T. Thailand, Dean of the College of Engineering, PhD in Agricultural Engineering from CLSU. Dr. Rehidori G. Gaboy, Dean of the College of Education, PhD in Development Education from CLSU. Dr. J. C. Santos, Acting Dean of the College of Arts and Social Sciences. Doctor of Philosophy in Health and Human Performance from the University of Florida, USA. Dr. Evaristo A. Abelia, Dean of the College of Science, PhD in Biotechnology from the University of Manchester, UK. 
Dr. Ariel G. Maktal, Dean of the College of Agriculture, PhD in Crop Science from CLSU. Dr. Ernesto A. Martin, Vice President for Business Affairs, PhD in Animal Nutrition from the University of New England in Australia. Dr. Fe L. Porciuncula, Vice President for Research, Extension and Training, PhD in Community Development from UP Los Baños. Dr. Danilo S. Vargas, Vice President for Administration, PhD in Community Development from UP Los Baños. Dr. Renato G. Reyes, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Director for International Affairs. PhD in Forest Science from Tokyo University of Agriculture in Japan. Dr. Edgar A. Orden, University President, PhD in Bioproduction Science from Totori University, Japan. of Business Administration and Accountancy. Oh. 
College of Home Science yang sudah sedih. Welcome to College of Science. Welcome to the College of Veterinary Science and Medicine. The man who has the voice of authority and leadership when he speaks. Please welcome the University President, Dr. Edgar Alcantara Orden. Today, the Central Luzon State University family welcomes with gladness and sheer optimism our 10,739 students with 3,093 freshmen from different parts of the country amidst the danger and threat we are experiencing from this pandemic. This day marks the first step towards the many changes and transformation we will have to take in terms of our educational system as we cannot resort to our traditional face-to-face -face interaction in delivering education to our learners. We are starting to get back on track. We develop a new concept suitable to our current situation. This new concept I have mentioned is the Bayanian class on flexible learning, which was developed by faculty members and staff of CLSU headed by Dr. Esmeraldo M. Cabana. We are facing problems of limited resources and some may not even have access to the tools needed for education to continue. It is more challenging this time as we have to deal with a single class using various types of modalities. However, I am confident that our faculty are equipped and ready to deliver the best learning possible. On the other hand, I would also like to ask our dear students for your utmost cooperation, support, and patience for the successful conduct of your daily classes. Grab every opportunity for you to learn and expand your knowledge. It is during this time that you must strive more for yourself and build a better life for you and your family in the near future. Do not hesitate to reach out to your teachers. I am sure they will be there to assist you whenever they can to educate you in the midst of our current situation. With this, I would like to congratulate and thank the entire faculty and staff of our beloved university for their hard work and sacrifices to ensure that the learning never stops and realize what we profess and promise to learn as one and to educate as one. Finally, I wish all of us our safety and good health as we journey through an academic year far different from our previous ones. May we all be blessed with happiness, security, and protection against this pandemic. And let us all pray for the time to come soon when we will be able to welcome once again our students in the arms of our beloved CLSU without worries and fears 
so that they too may once experience the CLSU's comfort with its last green tranquility and call it not just their school but also their home. Thank you very much and good day. Let us hear the message of our incoming first year student, Melrain Vince Gala. To our university president, Dr. Edgar A. Orden, our vice presidents, college deans, academic educators, and staff, parents, my fellow first year students and schoolmates, good day to all of us. It is very clear that we are all caught with a situation that no one has ever prepared for. But that doesn't mean we have to stop from moving forward. We are full of endless gratitude to the Central Luzon State University, not just for the opportunity given to us to study under its supreme institution, but also for its effort to deliver quality education despite the limitations set by this crisis. We assure you that we will do our very best to grow and unleash the potentials you've seen in us. We're also very grateful to our supportive parents who always assist us in everything we need. Your guidance and support is what we really need during these trying times. We have nothing in mind and heart but to make you all happy and proud of us and we will do everything we can to justify all your sacrifices for our future. To my fellow first year students, the CLSU trusted us when we are given a chance to experience its truly one-of-a-kind educational system. It is our turn to trust ourselves and prove our skills to be worthy of this privilege. Let us challenge ourselves to quest for honor and excellence for ourselves, our family, and for our country. Because today, we're not just a student. We are all CLSU students that soon will be ignited with bravery, wielded with excellence, infused with integrity, and empowered with our dreams to create change for a better future. School administration, academic educators, parents, and students, let us offer each other a helping hand as we move towards the new normal of higher education. The greatest solution to this dilemma is having a clear communication and active cooperation. I am hoping everyone to be always safe and healthy. Good day and may our Lord God bless us all. The response from the student regent, Mr. Angel Paulo Mendoza. Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating mga opisyal, guro at kawani ng CLSU. At sa inyo mga kapwa ko kamag-aral, dalangin ko ang mabuting kapakanan ng bawat isa. Sa patuloy ng paglakad ng panahon, kasabay nito ang pagyabong ng nakaalamang pandemyang sinasagupa natin sa ngayon. Naging mabigat ang hamon sa atin ng kasalukuyang sitwasyon na dagdagan ang pasanin nating responsibilidad bilang estudyante at bilang mamamayan. Ang bawat araw ay naging sugal sa pagtaya ng parehong mental at physical nating kalusugan. Gayon paman, hindi dapat tayo mawalan ng pag-asa at huminto sa paglakad sapagkat pinili man tayo ng pandemyang ito, tayo ay dapat na matutong gumapang at sabayan ang paglakad na kasalukuyan upang marating natin ang ating hinaharap. Magkakaiba man ang ating estado sa buhay, Huwag sana tayong mawalan ng pag-asa na matatagpos natin ang ating pag-aaral, kahit may pandemya. Lubos kong naiintindihan ang kawalan ng kakayahan ng iba na makasabay sa pagbabagong pinwersa sa atin ng sitwasyon. Ngunit kailangan natin mag-adjust at mag-adapt sa bawat hamon ng panahon. Hayaan natin gabayan tayo ng panahon, ating mga magulang, guro, kamag-aral, at higit sa lahat ang Diyos na nasa itaas upang maging matatag sa mga darating na araw at mapagtagumpayan ang buhay. Alam ko na lubos ang magiging suporta ng kabuuan ng CLSU sa ating pag-aaral. Maraming pagbabago na dumating sa sistema ng edukasyon ngayon at naging dahilan ito upang maging abala ang ating mga profesor. Lahat tayo ay apektado ng pandemya kung kaya't hinihingi ko sa inyo mga kapwa ko kamag-aral na intindihin din natin ang ating mga guro. 
dahil nahihirapan din sila sa paghahanda ng module at pag-aaral sa bagong sistema ng edukasyon. Sabay-sabay nating salabungin ng may ngiti sa ating mga labi at galak sa ating mga puso ang bagong yugto ng ating buhay. Muli, isang magandang araw sa ating lahat. Patuloy tayong mag-iingat at manatili sa ating mga tahanan. Elevating CLSU to its excellence is his vision. For his closing remarks, Dr. Renato G. Reyes, Vice President for Academic Affairs. In the midst of this pandemic where everybody is a victim, and as you resume your studies, let us always be vigilant as we adopt good health practices against COVID-19. Let us all be united in thinking and acting positively in hardling this great challenge in our lifetime. Life must go on. Let us always pray to our Lord for His continuous guidance. Welcome to CLSU and congratulations to all of you.